Life. What's up, everybody? It is your boy David at It's a Pop Thing. And before we get started, I'm going to get some people online because I told them I was going to be on 11. It's going on 11:30, but they will survive, right? So I hope you guys are doing well. I have missed you guys. I have been so busy between um, this and well, between this, between San Diego Comic Con and between um, going out to San Diego and work leading up to San Diego Comic Con. I have been crazy busy. So, um, <laughs> my boss just likes me. Uh, so, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I do, I have missed you guys and hopefully um, you guys have, uh, maybe y'all haven't missed me. I don't know. Have you guys missed me? Uh, I'm trying to find the video so I can send it to my other site. There it is. One person, so give me a check. Whoever's watching, give me a second. We're going to do a, hey, Tyrone, what's up? Um, I'm just sharing this copy link. Hey, Tyrone. Oh. Y'all hear my big mouth? You need the Weiss? <laughs> uh, $400 is all yours. <laughs> I will tell the Weiss, I will tell the Weiss story when I, uh, um, Hello, Stretch 3420. I will tell the Wii story here in a minute when I get going here. Give me one second. Y'all know I'm slow and I'm never prepared. And this this is a last minute thing. I'm like, it's too fucking late. I need to be in bed, but I don't have to do any work. I don't have to do a lot of work tomorrow. So I'm going to, uh, I'm staying up a little later because we have a Funko meetup on Sunday. So I need to get all my stuff together that I want to sell and trade and excuse me and get all that stuff together so um that's what i'm doing may have one more second and um i'll be none of my electronics want to co cooperate y'all hear all that oh, jesus See, like i'm always rushing even just get, getting up to san diego comic con i had so much work to do before i went You know what? When you, when I get to that part of the story, which should be early on, um, it wasn't fun getting um, the wheeze. It, it 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 was it was very difficult, and I didn't have fun, and it wasn't good, and yeah, it, it wasn't. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it yeah, something I do not want to do again because it commandeered too much of my time um, at San Diego Comic-Con. So next year, I will not be spending that much. I say that now, and I also said I wasn't going back next year, but I'm already making plans to go back. So, <laughs> so um, here we go. Almost there. And there we are. Okay. Whew. That was a lot. <laughs> get it? Who said get anything for me? What? Y'all know. Um, no, there we go. Yes, I, I don't want to say that. Y'all know it was so difficult getting anything this year at San Diego Comic Con because they changed the format a little bit. They did. Um, uh, they did lotteries right before. Um, Who's Ch oh hey chunky for life? What it do? Uh, they did lotteries uh, before going to Comic Con this year. So what you had to do before you went there, they sent you a list of items that are exclusive. What they call the exclusive portal of things that you could do, like uh, whether you wanted to go to um, uh, go to the Funko store, um, get in line for the Funko store. I think Lego was one of them. Um, Hasbro, UCC, uh, and then they also had the these autographs. The autograph sightings were also exclusive. So if you didn't get chosen um, for the exclusive, you didn't um, you didn't get um, you didn't get in it. So only thing I got this year for myself was the Flash signing. Um, that was for the whole cast, the Flash, to sign a poster or whatever um, for you um, to uh, 
to 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 sign to get signed and get to meet the cast and get talked like this year what changed is uh they didn't let you take pictures while you were up there with the cast they uh made you put your cameras down as soon as you got in there which i don't know why last year they let them um but um i thought that was kind of stupid but anyhow they um they uh did that so i got flashed for myself uh, my tarot and something else and then my nephew had got chosen for funko of all places my nephew who doesn't have any money doesn't have a job so his funko was so it wasn't fun but uh anyhow so i hope everybody great sdcc And like, damn, I wish I could have done that or I should have done more of that. I spent a good majority of my time in the convention hall, which um, it was fun in itself. I mean, I had a good time doing that. I, I like that. I like kind of uh, seeing the, the, the stars and the celebrities and hanging out the floor and seeing anything uh, that's available. This year, I would say mostly was probably for me would have been it was um, um, for the lapel pins. I got a lot of lapel pins like... This is going to be my new motto for Funko, honey. Because <laughs> how Funko did me on the last day. And then also, they give away a lot of free things. And I'll do a lapel pin video because there's too many of them to go, go through here. But um, also, I got that cool Thanos. Well, Anise picked this up for me from Sideshow. They was giving these away free, like 40 or 50 a day. So I got that real Thanos, that real cool Thanos fan. Oh, wow. You know what? I've seen Stan Lee uh, several times, Chunky Monkey, and I've never wanted to endure the line which that makes me a bad fanboy i never wanted to endure the line to uh get in there and see him and meet him because not try to be funny but you know you know <laughs> you know if i had thought about it i would have got more of the free swag but i get so distracted sometimes on other shit like my big focus this year not only was it funko it was um uh late not like legos was insane it was uh, Mattel and Hot Wheels, which I ugh, I have a Hot Wheels story as well. Uh, <laughs> I always have a whole bunch of stories, right? Um, but so, so like I was focused on that, and so I just kind of and I'm kind of mad at myself because I, I let a lot of things go by, pass me by, and then I wasn't able to see um, or check out some of the things that I really wanted to check out. But anyhow, I don't see if this one to get started because everybody's not seeing everything. What's wrong with that? That's why it's not updating. I have the worst technology in the world. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's irritating the piss out of me. But maybe I'm not gonna worry about it. Any? <laughs> Do you collect treasure? You're my new best friend, Chunky Monkey. We need to trade. Um, I did find when I was in San Diego. I did find uh three two El, El Viento treasure hunts. Uh, in a Ralph's, which if, if you don't know what a Ralph's is, it's like Fred Meyer and Kroger. It's the same store. Um, just kind of hanging out in the little display. And then I found an art car and an old Captain America. It wasn't a character car, but one of the mainline sets uh, that that, it, that he had back a couple of years ago. So it was cool to find those. But uh, yeah, no, um, Hot Wheels is rough. It, if you could see uh, what's around me, like, oh, um, this is for you, uh, Chunky Monkey. There, there's the, and I had to get this on eBay. That's the treasure hunt for the M case. And then there's the two golden um, chase cards for the 50th anniversary black and gold set. And then there's the cool combi. I think this was from the J case, which was the treasure hunt and the J case. If you haven't seen that. And I've already talked for nine freaking minutes. What video are you talking about? Weapon X. Whatever Weapon X is. Um, so is all my peeps from uh, Southern Indiana Funko Squad on there? Have you guys hopped on yet? I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. If you can see it, you guys can also message me on Facebook um, to tell me if the video is bad, which I know it probably is. Um...
Did you? Get the, I put. <laughs> it's live now on YouTube. Hold on. I always get too much going on. And this is how my work day is. I have a thousand and one things going on at one time, and I never feel like I'm accomplishing anything. But tonight, <laughs> we have, if nothing falls, we got a bag of pops to go through. And that all was from some, S some local SDC pickups. Uh, and that is a old, uh, this entertainment earth bag, but it has the Toy Toys R Us logo on it. So I'm going to keep that because Toys R Us is gone, you know? And then we have a box from GameStop. And then we have a box that I mailed to myself from San Diego Comic-Con that we're going to go through. Whew. And I don't have any room, as you see. <laughs> I don't have any room for anything. So I was going to move every, I'm going to shift everything that's here over there and put more back here and maybe some more of my posters from San Diego Comic-Con back there. But I really haven't made that determination yet. Um, but what are some of the things that you guys got um, from Comic-Con for, from um, shopping the, uh, the stores during um, San Diego Comic-Con? Matthew B. Who is Matthew B.? And people see now people are trying to uh <laughs> what's going on here sorry guys <laughs> um but the first thing and we'll go through that <laughs> he wants a suke um Derek Spain Howard we will talk about that in a little bit sorry The biggest thing at Comic Con, you know, are the exclusives, um, and every Coach Funko had a million of them this year, um, and I was wise. I ordered some of mine's online Wednesday night because I knew something in the back of my head told me that I was going to be able to get what I wanted on Sunday, and I still didn't get all the ones I get I wanted to get. But you know, that's part of the game. It's part of uh, the exclusives. It's part of the hunts. Part of the funds. What we do what we do when we're uh, looking for the Funkos. Uh, but the big thing and the big get for me, which I didn't know was a big, the biggest, I, well, I'll take it back. I didn't know it was gonna be as big of a deal as it was until I was there. And I'm like, you know, I like metallic pops. They're shiny, they're fun. Last year, the, Funima the Funimation booth was really easy to get to. I remember my niece and I just kind of strolling up you want this exclusive? Sure, we'll take one. You know, paid for, and it was done. No lines, no hype, no nothing. And you and you know what? The Dragon Ball Z, the Dragon Ball Z people, fans, fanboys, fangirls, they are crazy. <laughs> and 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 not only crazy, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, they're stands. They're, they're stands for what they like. So I get it. I understand. Um, I do it for Beyonce, right? Anyhow, uh, <laughs> that was funny, right? Um, so getting there, I'm like, I knew Weiss was one of the ones I'm going to get. So I didn't try for it on Wednesday night, and I really wasn't around the Funimation booth. Normally, preview, this, is my, this was actually my first preview night that I went to. So I didn't know what to expect, but preview night, from what I was hearing from a lot of vendors, was just like just about any other night um, there because it was, there were so many people and um, it just wasn't, you did, there was no exclusivity to it to where you could walk up to the booth. Now, I did get a lot of swag on preview night, like the, which I don't know what happened to it, another Fox uh, poster holder. Um, but it was just, just not like it, past years, apparently. But so <laughs> the Thursday when I went, and I'm like, well, I had some time because um, my niece and my nephew and my two friends, Christy and Lane, they, um, yeah, it is. It's huge. It's huge. Um, and so, 
they um so my niece and my nephew that morning i met them at the sprinkles theater and the sprinkles theater is in like northern part of the city in san diego and the city the downtown city not the whole city um and that's where they have the conan show like my friend had got four tickets to uh, conan and i had a meeting with um on the day that i had a meeting with entertainment earth so since I didn't want one of my one of my kids to be left out, I let my kid, one of my kids, niece and nephew, take my ticket and go with my two friends. Then I was on, and I went to meet uh, my friends at the Conan show. I mean, at, at my, the Entertainment Earth people at the convention center. So that that was gonna be at three o'clock. So I said after they go, I'll have time to do some stuff by myself. So that's what I did. I went around the showroom, looked for some stuff, and I'm like, you know what? This would be a perfect time to grab that Weez Pop since I'm not gonna get in the Funko line until Sunday. Let me get the exclusive, like the ones from Bait, uh, the one from Funimation. I said, let me go ahead and grab those while. I'm here, and so, while well, well, I have the opportunity and not being drugged in a thousand different directions, so I go to the booth. When I tell you there was a convergence of a, let's see, I would say two thousand people, one thousand to two thousand people. It might have been five to a hundred, but it, no, the spaces are really, really, you know, they're they're very, very detailed where you had to be and where you had to go. Everybody has their space in the booth. Funimation has a big square booth. That goes up, and there's they have like books and CDs and DVDs and all this stuff. There's all an anime and manga and all this stuff. And then they have their exclusive, whether it's pops or bandanas or stuff that 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 pays, you know, for the fan fanboys to come to their to to their um, uh, booth. But I tell you, I'm like, where are all these people, and where are they going? I'm like, are they after this freaking pop? Yes, they're after this freaking pop. So after a lot of tugging and all these people trying to get in, you know, I'm kind of in the back and back middle. And they're like, y'all better start walking. Now, if you've never been to San Diego Comic Con, you know, security, <laughs> security can be um, interesting. Security, they have all these, and no, this is not racist, but they have all these big Samoan guys and they are from Samoan. Come on, uh, what, what, what are Samoans? From Hawaii? Th they're Samoan guys. And they're big boys, and there's some girls too, and they don't play. <laughs> and so my niece asked him, and so um, they're telling you to move. And it's like, if you don't move, we're gonna shut it down. We're gonna shut it down. Y'all didn't keep walking. So what you do at Comic Con when they're when you're trying to get into a line that gets capped all the time? You start making circles. You start making circles. You walk around the line. You walk around the booth or the area just to scoot over far enough to maybe when they unkept that line, you can slide in there. In this case, you have a thousand people walking around this booth and they're telling you, we know you're not walking far enough. You need to keep on moving. We're going to shut it down. And so, <laughs> and so you're walking around. I'm like, you know what? Forget it. I can't get in there. There's too many people. They're ready to shut this shit down. And then as soon as my mind thought that, they said, shut down. You're done. You're done. This is done. They shut Funimation down. So no one could get in the booth. They're like, we're done. It's over. Um, because it can be a fire hazard. Although they don't shut WB and Fox when they have all these celebrities there, especially like Fox, Arrow, Riverdale, when you can't move, when you're trying to take pictures and there's, there's a million people behind you and this it, it's just a cluster F. Anyhow, and so I happen to hear one of the security guys like, we're sending everybody to the WB line in the sales pavilion. So mind you, the sales pavilion is on the top floor. And it's at, it's at A. I think it's at A. We enter in at H. So, you, so I'm like, ooh, I'm going to go up to the WB line and get in line because they was giving tickets at this point, giving tickets to get the Weez Pop. So... Or, or even to buy something in, in the Funimation booth. So I get up there and my feet are hurting. I'm tired. I'm sweating. You know, I'm a man of particular size. I'm like, I can't do this, you know. So <laughs> so we get to, um, we get to, well, I get to upstairs and I'm like, where's the, they're, they're putting, I asked somebody, they're putting the, all the Funimation uh, purchasers in a line. They're like, oh, the line's back there. And so the line that I seen was on the upper level patio. Oh, cool. I can do that. They're like, no, you got to go down the steps. So I had to go down the steps to the harbor down the street. That's where I stood in line for maybe two and a half hours, just slowly going up. And they said, we only have, they had like two or 3,000 of these Weez Pops there. And she's like, we have enough for everybody who was up there who wanted one who got in line. And everybody is guaranteed if you get this ticket, you get it. 
So your boy finally made it up there. Uh, and that was not only that was a ticket for me to come back on Saturday, not Friday, <laughs> not later that day, to come back on Saturday at 6 p.m. to get the Wheeze Pop. You know, I had people uh, texting me, oh, did you get the Wheeze? Can you get the Wheeze? Uh, I'm sorry, you can't get this one now. This is a trophy, and <laughs> it is... Um, it, it is it definitely, it definitely, definitely personifies some of the craziness that San Diego Comic Con can bring. But it is a good looking pop. I I'm glad that I got it. Um, I will probably keep it for a very long time because um, unless somebody makes me a really good offer, five hundred dollars and it's yours. Uh, <laughs> it has. It doesn't even have this year's Comic Con sticker on it. It's it has a Comic Con, but it's not the one that was uh, the 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 uh, the branded one from SDCC. So I don't know what that's all about. But he's gonna and I, I don't get hard cases for very many things or hardly anything. But this guy is in a hard case, and we'll put him up, we'll put him up here for right now. Um, and that's gonna be his new home. Um, so would you guys, I know they sold it for very briefly online. Did you guys, were you guys able to get the Wee's Pop online? Um, I know they, um, had it so you could, uh, but I, I don't think they're going to, I think then they stopped it shortly after they're not going to be, uh, selling it online, um, any longer and it's over. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, yeah, Chunky Monkey, I think I'm going to. That is definitely a keeper. Hope they don't start making noise. So the next thing we'll go through, since it's right here and I don't want to, uh, we'll do these. That These are non-San Diego Pops. So we'll go through both of these really quick. Um, the Scooby-Doo and the uh, Flock, so the Flock Scooby-Doo and the Flock Sully. Got those right before I went. No, I, they were delivered while I was in San Diego Comic-Con. So there's those two. Um, I actually like both of these. I think they're pretty. They're pretty dope. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like those. I don't have anywhere to put them, as you can see. So hopefully, they they can lay right there until I can find a a permanent a permanent home for them. Um, what else? What else? So let's see. We'll dig. Uh, this is another one that I actually got this at San Diego Comic Con. I want it. Yeah, they did cancel sales. Um, maybe right after because they kept on crashing the site and they're not going to sell it anymore. So one of these days, they're going to, to, to bring those back. So I hope everybody's able to get them. Um, but this is I, this is another pop that's a common, not a common, it's a specialty shop, but I, had, I missed out on it when it was uh, on sale here and wasn't able to order any for the website. And if you haven't been to the website, we all we have, <laughs> this is shameless plug for my website. Um, yeah, you're right, other we, that's right, Chunky Monkey, you're right. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> um, you know, you can go to itsapopthing.com. We actually, um, the Entertainment Earth retailers, online retailers, brick and mortar retailers that, that gets products. What's up? Um, Mr. Cantwell, um, all the um, retailers who uh, subscribe through or who, who wholesale through Entertainment Earth, they released their sh shared exclusive, which was the Hellboy Pop. Uh, I do have them on my website um, for sale. So if you didn't get one during the during the con and you still want still want one, um, it's, it's a pop thing dot com and go to our it's a pop shop. And you can check that out and um, get one of those very limited quantities. They only had a few left. They only let us get so many of them. So I may, will, may be able to get a little bit more. But uh, when my rep called me, there wasn't many left. So I got what I could. So check that out on our website. Um, if you haven't, you need to do that now, right? Because I'm broke and I need to make some money from San Diego Comic Con. But no, that is the Green Hornet pop that I've seen some of you guys pick up um, on some of you guys' hunts. What else? What else? What else? What else? We'll save that for last. We'll save those for last. Um, I actually don't know what's in this box because I forgot what I mailed. I forgot what I mailed myself. Um, but let's go with the ones, the things that I, I was able 
to get, and I can be kind of a sticker stop, a, a sticker snob when it comes to SDCC stuff. Um, uh, especially if it's a con that I go to, I want to be a, I'm a sticker, I'm a sticker snob because I can be. Um, <laughs> so we were able, when we got to our Funko time purchasing time slot on Sunday, um, there was only four that we wanted collectively. Me, my niece, and my nephew. He wanted the Grill Master. Um, I wanted the Goose, really, the Gus Goose from Saga. And my niece wanted the Josie from Josie and Puss Puss Cats from Riverdale. Um, only ones that we really wanted. I picked up another one because I, I liked the colors and she was at Comic Con and I wanted to I want to see What's up, Gary J? Oh, hey, Gary. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. I guess I haven't been on in a while. Um, they, um, she was there. It's Asuka, Asuka, uh, Asuka, Asuka. I call it Asuka, but that's wrong. Asuka uh, from WWE. I've seen some of the, the Walmart exclusive and the Target exclusive one. They look pretty cool. So I might get these and I might not, but that's the sticker I'm talking about. That is this year's uh, San Diego Comic-Con branded sticker. Um, other verses say, for instance, um, the, um, shared exclusive sticker. Um, but you know, no big deal. I just, I, if I'm there, I want to get the sticker. I want to have the sticker. Um, this, if you resell these, it probably adds about 40%, 30 to 40% to the cost because it is the branded sticker, but that's my Asuka, 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 somebody, Somebody tell me how to pronounce the name. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. This chick here. And so um, got her just because I wanted another one with the San Diego Comic Con branded sticker and there wasn't much left. To, there wasn't anything to choose from. And then, of course, there's the guest from Saga um, with the branded sticker as well. Um, got those two from San Diego that were um, the, the actual sticker. Then I ordered a bunch, and I'm like, did I really order this many pops? Because I went off the chain. There's Killer Mall from Teen Titans Go. Um, got it from Walmart. There's a little crease. Yeah, I know there's a Target and um, a Walmart exclusive. I haven't seen either one of those at any of our stores. I think they had them at one time, but I haven't seen them, so I don't know if we're going to give them back or not, but that they were there uh, at one point but there is the killer moth pretty cool um they i guess the uh, teen titans go movie are having premieres now they said it's good i don't know if i'll go see it or not but it might be something to look for but yeah killer mall from teen titans go we love that that's pretty cool i think that's the one people that really didn't go for um I'd ordered this before I even went to Comic Con. It's the Edna Jack Jack. So I have all the Jack Jack Jacks from um, The Incredibles 2. Still haven't seen the movie yet. I have all the Jack Jacks from the movie, but there's the Edna one that I ordered from Amazon. The one I missed that I really wanted that I missed out from Amazon was the Thor. So if somebody wants to help your boy out with a Thor, let me know. Oh, this is another one that's not. A Comic Con pop, but I got it at Comic Con. Is the Secret Stash Kevin Smith? Um, and I picked that up from um, uh, Ming. Ming was there, and I've, I see Ming all the time. I've seen him in Indianapolis, he's here in town a lot. Um, I see him, I just seen him a couple weeks, a few weeks ago here in town. Then I see him in Comic Con, and he's like, You get around, I'm like, yeah, I get around a little bit, I get to go some places. Uh, but there is the secret stash. I never had a secret stash pop. I wanted them all, but Ming was completely out of his, uh, and Michael Zapsick and the rest of them. Uh, but I've only met him and Mike Zapsick, and I've seen Kevin Smith at a Screen Junkies um, deal, but didn't get it. But no, there's that one. So that's another one that's non-Comic-Con-ish. And then this is another one that you can still get. I seen some today at or yesterday at GameStop uh, is the Superbot from Destiny. I actually picked up a Crota, a Target exclusive Crota day at um, at Bargain Hunt. Uh, but no, there is the Superbot. So that'll go with my. Um, who do I have? I have. Oh, there it is Kate Six, the Glow in the Dark, and then I also have the. She's up there somewhere. Uh, I can't think of her name right now because I'm old. 
But um, the Zavala Cade and she's been on the back of this one, and I'm gonna that'll all fall if I touch it. So, um, so this will go with the rest of my Destiny pops, and also the um, the Crota that I got today. Uh, then we have. Oh, here's another. <laughs> this is another one. Now, these, they were giving these away um, at Comic Con. They were giving these away um, back in, up in Horton's Plaza. We didn't walk up there to get one because I knew I had one coming. So, this will go here with the rest of them. So, only thing that I am missing from my Deadpool set would be the Chimichanga Deadpool. Um, good night, Chunky Monkey. Uh, the Chimichanga Deadpool and the the pink cheerleader Deadpool, which was at Comic Con, and I never seen. I think I maybe seen one person have it, but I don't think they had a lot of those. But I really want one. But that's cool. And then order. Oh, my favorite. And this came. This was the very first pop that came. I got a, a message, a text message that it had to been delivered. Very first one that came was the Captain Caveman that I really was one of the ones that was on my list that I really wanted. Um, this one here, Captain Caveman. Who doesn't love Captain Caveman? If you're a, a person of a particular age like myself, you get it, right? Um, then kind of hotly sought after, uh, long awaited Red Hood from the Batman family, Jason Todd going crazy. Good guy again, but um, there's the Red Hood ordered him from GameStop and then last but not least got this guy too as a dead Yamcha from Dragon Ball Z don't know why I got it I just did because and that's another thing I'm gonna stop doing I, a lot of times I know you guys do it too sometimes we buy pops for the hell of it we buy pops because of the new hotness. We we buy pops because, oh, somebody else got it and they like it, so I'm going to buy it too. I'm not doing that anymore. I had an opportunity to get, what did I have an opportunity to get? Also getting this over there, the Saga of, the, the I finished my Saga set, um, the Skybound Saga Glow in the Dark Lion Cat. Got that one, and it looks really, really good. Probably the best glows I've seen on a pop. But yeah, I'm not going to be doing, um, buying pops just because anymore because it's, it's wasteful. Um, Susie Orman would not approve. Uh, she wouldn't approve of all this nonsense anyhow. But um, no, <laughs> but no, I'm not going to do that anymore. But uh, so, yeah, just going to get the stuff that I want and uh, what I collect and not try to be all special by getting the best pops or the most pops or the most chases. Not, I could have got up and got the, because um, I was up and order those ones from um, Toy Tokyo, which keep on free on your emails and at the website. They're going live again. Uh, if you missed the bundles, didn't care, you know, whatever. And I could have got the baby with Sam because I was up and I could have went out there to um, Hot Topic, but decided to stay in and lay in bed. So next we're going to go to, we'll open up the big box of pops. This costs a little bit to, to ship them from San Diego. Um, but I couldn't have got all these on the, the plane. We had to buy a, 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 an additional uh, suitcase, as it were, just to get everything on the plane. Hindsight, I probably didn't have to. No, I had to. Cause there's, there's a lot of shit in this bag, in this box. Well, not, uh, not too much. So, yeah, there's a lot. We, we, we couldn't have fit all those. So, let's see. The first one is... They had a big um, a, a FYE pop-up shop there. And so we was able to get all the exclusive FYE Funkos because they had a ton of them. And we got Skeeter Valentine from FYE. Let's see, the next one. This is a... This is a... Oh, that shit in this box. Oh, <laughs> these I'm probably not going to keep. And so they'll be on the website for sale. Um, oh, I can smell it too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 
a lot of those I missed out on. I missed out on all the Funko Shop ones. I wanted the spastic plastic ones. Missed out on those. Didn't get them. But um, check him out. There's Stinkor. And I don't think he necessarily stinks uh, versus... Um, I don't know what he, what that smell is. I, I think it's very, very, very innovative that they they're starting to give us scratch and sniff pops. But um, he doesn't smell like a skunk. Uh, but you know, he's really cool. I will probably, and I might want, I might keep one of them just for his, the very first smelly pop. Um, this has a little place on it, so that probably going to be. I'm probably going to keep that one. Um, but that's fine. I wanted to keep one anyhow. So stink or. We got a couple of those. Thought he was cool. That was from the FYE pop-up shop. Oh, this this is also on the website to purchase. Uh, this was a debut for Entertainment Earth, Entertainment Earth exclusive. Uh, I will have these. Um, they'll be delivered in August, so you can pre-sell these. Pre-sell these now. Entertainment Earth has allowed us to sell those, sell these online now. And that is the, these all got bins in them. If my ones, I think I put them in cases that hasn't been in them. So the, I'm keeping these anyhow, so it really doesn't matter. Um, that's the 8-bit Batman. Since that's got a bin in the top, I'm really mad about that. How'd that get bit like that? Ah, stupid person. We'll take him out. And this is cool. I I didn't I wasn't sure about this one at first, but um, and, and a lot of people don't like eight bits. But this guy is he's pretty tight. I love the color because you don't really see this color on anything. That kind of purple and blue. I want to paint a wall that color, right? The blue color. Um, but yeah, that's the eight bit Batman that was a San Diego Comic Con. Uh, debut for Entertainment Earth. Locally, you can only get them from me. They might show up at our coconuts, but they won't be for a while. I'll have mine first. <laughs> uh, but they're on the website at itsapopthing.com. Um, but this was a debut, as you can see on the Entertainment Earth San Diego Comic Con sticker. Um, I don't know if the rest of them are going to have that on there. That's kind of making me mad because I, I can swap one of the boxes, but see what they did to my box by was shipping it. And that was the 8 bit Batman. Let's see. That's Skeeter. And this is another stinker. You don't want to see that. And then I had a box inside of a box. And this is actually what, what came from. Oh, there it is. Not. I thought I was missing one, but I, all the ones that, that that I thought were missing, they're in here and unharmed. I'm gonna keep him to last. And this is actually on the website to sell right now. I'll go right there. And that is the Gold Alpha 5 from Power Rangers. This was a bait exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con goes with this group of power rangers uh he's pretty cool i'm not gonna take that out at all but that's pretty cool these were at bait they weren't cheap they were a lot more than the regular funkos along with the golden bruce lee you guys can see that there's the golden bruce lee again another bait um Another uh, bait exclusive pop. Thought it was pretty cool, but pretty tough, pretty tight. Uh, keeping that one there. Also got a Fugitive Toys, which I thought was going to be really hard to get. A Fugitive Toy exclusive, Kyle Rayner, White Lantern, Glow in the Dark. From This was probably the easiest one to get. Um, and they had a million of them. So if you guys want that, they're want this, they probably have those on, um, online somewhere. And there that is. And this was kind of a big deal. Um, you had, I need to counsel it. You had to sign up for, 
uh, a subscription to the Walking Dead box. I'm going to get one. I'm going to cancel it afterwards to get the Shiva pop, you know, Ezekiel's pet tiger um, from the Walking Dead. And it says the, what does it say? Walking Dead Supply Drop Exclusive. You see the sticker there. This is the Shiva. And the only way you could get this there was signing up for the subscription over there in Petco Park. So a different kind of pop, a little different. You don't see these uh, like a full-fledged animal every day like that in a pop. So we thought that one was cool. Grab that. And then last but not least, a couple of pluses that made the trip. Not that it made the trip worthwhile. That... um. They kind of made the trip more um, fun. And we'll go through the first ones first. Uh, ordered these online. I know a lot of you guys got these Conan ones um, from GameStop. You got to get those. So I got the complete set. This was the fully dressed Super Conan. This was like the, the Clark Kent turned into Superman Super Conan. And last but not least, just the kind of suited Conan. So, you know, Conan had a huge presence, and Sonic is getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year at St. Louis Comic Con. Um, but the big hot items were, uh, of course, like every year, they're exclusive to SDCC. And I don't know why they don't put stickers on these, because they don't, but they don't. Um, is the actual free giveaway Conan Puss was able to get two of the four um, of these guys, and they're going for hundreds of bucks online right now. I will not part with these. This makes my third official uh, Conan pop because I got one of the Jedi Conan last year. And this this actually, what, why I like this one, this actually came with a little Ant-Man, sort of like this one here. Same size. Like the, I don't know if you can see right there, the Ant-Man pop right there that has the little one. That was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive. They kind of did the same thing. I don't know if you can see him in there. There, oh, there you are. You can see it. There's a little Conan inside there uh, for Ant Man. So that was pretty cool. That show actually didn't have a, a presence there at Comic Con, which we were kind of surprised about. Um, but Marvel said they weren't going to um, send them. So and they didn't. And then the last one, which was the first one we got, was the Conan Predator Conan, which is probably. Um, my favorite out of the two that I no, I like them both equally. The only other one that I wanted was the um, the Hellboy because it just looks really cool. But you know, you can't get everything you want. But <laughs> this is uh, the the one that uh, uh, my niece gave. Actually, she went to show and she gave this to me, um, and my nephew kept his, but. Uh, these are cool. Uh, I like these a lot. See, if, they, if they both had given me theirs, I could have traded that other um, Predator for a Hellboy. I didn't care about the Rebel Pilot. I just wanted the other one. But there was the four that they had this year. Um, the Rebel Pilot, the Predator, Hellboy, and then Ant-Man. And we got these two there. If you can see it. There we go. There's the two right there. So that was my Funko haul from Sandy. I actually got a near a nearly headless Nick today at um, Barnes and Noble. So you know that that that, that was unexpected. Um, but keep checking your stores. You know that for a little bit they'll start they'll start um, uh, sliding into the stores slowly but surely. They'll start slow slide into the stores to be. Um, uh, uh, to, to be sold until their warehouses are sold out of them. So keep checking um, all your stores. Um, um, somebody just sent me a message. I was trying to think about the answer. Uh, so just be checking all your stores and make sure like Hot Topic. We don't have a box lunch here. GameStop might have a few more coming in. I know it's been kind of crazy how like a, a city not that far from me still has like six or seven of the the Mach 1 or Mach 5, whatever, the Iron Man one, the Marvel 10, um, the first 10 years Marvel Studios, uh, Iron Man. They still have that one. Um, so I may run over there tomorrow and grab one because that's one that I did want. 
Um, and then Hot Topic got Raleigh's in, uh, Moaning Myrtles, Nearless Head. No, um, what was the other one? Uh, Dead Yamcha. They had all those, and they still have a lot of Gus, a lot of Josie and the Pussycat. Um, they had a couple more there. And then Barnes and Noble, like had today, they had the Stranger Things two piece set. Um, they had the Nearless Headless Nick. Um, they had some Dorbs, the the Steve in the bandana mask. They had him. Um, so keep on checking your stores because they're going to be coming out even online. I'm still waiting for that Thor to pop back up online somewhere, and also um, maybe uh, get the gold uh, Vegeta if I can from Toy Tokyo. If I if I can, I can't. That's a big of a deal. Um, that would be cool to have just because they, they were kind of big deals at the at the Comic Con. You know, I just said I'm not going to try to do the big deal pops anymore. Um, but I do want some of them. Um, coming to you guys uh, <laughs> on the website, if you check now, we have uh, the Little Shop of Horror uh, two two piece set, which is the um, Audrey two uh, plant monster thing, and then also the Seymour um, uh, Krellborn. Uh, Rick Moranis character that comes as a two piece. Great price right now. Um, if you figure out what the secret code is, you get additional, uh, a little additional off. So you figure that I'm not going to tell you. So you had to figure it out in the coupon section on our website. But they're really cool to have. I will have those pretty soon. Um, Hellboys coming on Friday. I will have the Wasp, um, Chase, and Common uh combo coming next week that'll be here on thursday i believe so that'll be up on the website for one lucky person to grab a hold of um what else we have coming um oh a little announcement about all you guys who ordered the three of the um um the boys the three boy i can't I went, not hell boys they were the lost boys the lost boys they have been recalled for some reason i don't know why um there was some kind of quality control issue they have been recalled and they will let us know when they send those back out but they're not coming out anytime soon like they were slated out to come this month we still have macgyver on the website to uh, be bought and also there's a good price on the twinkie kid right now so if you guys want to uh hop on those deals on the website it's it's a pop thing.com uh, click on it's a pop shop and then uh um, check it out and for all you fans if you click on Lost Boy, yeah, I got it. Yeah, the Lost Boy, yeah, you ordered one. The Lost Boys have been recalled. Actually, GameStop actually have has theirs in their um, stock room, and they was told they couldn't put them out and they had to send them back. Um, I forgot where I lost my train of thought, Mr. Cantwell. Um, what else? MacGyver, Twinkie Kid. Yeah, if you like, uh, if you if you use Pop Thing Like on, I think some of the stuff you get 10% off pop thing like 10. Um, also we have the venom pops on the website. So, uh, check out the venom pops as well. Um, yeah, they have them in the back, but they had to be, uh, Brittany told me they had to be, be returned. Hey, Brittany, have a good vacation. But that's it right now. Don't forget to check out the website. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Um, we'll be back to doing videos. All my stress about Comic-Con and and work, uh, lead paint. We, we made that joke, too. Um, it's all gone. Uh, only thing I'm stressing out about now is trying to find a place. So I will have, a, for those of you going to the meetup on Sunday here in town, I should have, I'll have some things for pre-order.